Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, guys, this is Eric. How are you guys doing today? So here back at the Tide Out Iguana, I'm gonna talk to you about some Spanish rib newts or Iberian rib newts or the scientific name of Perdell's Wobble. They're a pretty interesting little guy. They come from the Iberian Peninsula. Um, so that's Spain, Portugal, and then they'll come up into the northwest coast of Morocco as well. Not a whole lot of them left in the wild. They are listed as threatened and a lot of their populations are kind of extinct. These guys get an average in captivity about eight to nine inches. In the wild, they've been seen up to 12. So they are smaller than an axolotl, but they are the largest newt species in Europe. They are one of the largest newt species in the world. Uh, so they are definitely really cool, but one of their coolest things that they do, they have a couple built-in defense mechanisms. One, they just wiggle around like most other newts to get away. Two, they can secrete like a little sin skin secretion off of their neck, um, which is toxic. Not like horrible, my cousin skin and irritation, but it's just nasty. So they kind of predators leave. But if none of that works, they do something really awesome and they take their own ribs and they stab a gland on the side of their body, puncture it, releasing a toxin kind of poison, venom, I guess it would be a venom at that point because it's injected into the skin of other animals. They're actually immune to their own toxin, makes sense. And then they also release little antibodies when they do that so that their skin heals back up and they're fine. But each time they do it, they repuncture the gland. Um, looks like a little orange wart on the side of their body. There are two different color forms of these guys. Um, currently we have the wild types in. There's also a leucistic color type. Um, they're very interesting in the way they do amplexus. Um, they kind of do a reverse amplexus where the male kind of goes up underneath and puts them in a wheel alert, like half Nelson thing going on, um, and then drags them around to pick up the spermatophore. They kind of, to me, they look like a manatee just floating at the surface. They like to hang out with their head right at the top of the surface. They are fully aquatic. Um, we primarily feed them here a pelleted food. <laughs> I would have laughed if you went through the tank. Uh, we primarily feed them like our pelleted axolotl and newt food, it works great for them. Care on these guys is gonna be very similar to axolotls. Um, ideally, upper 60s, low 70s um, for care. So anywhere between 66 to 74 is pretty common. Water quality is just as important with axolotls, just clean, cold, slow moving water. Um, doing about a 10% water change weekly. I do recommend a minimum of a 10 gallon for one, but um, some people differ on that opinion. But for health, I would do a 10 gallon, 10% water change weekly, and then for every additional, at least another five gallons.